Hello and a warm welcome from Gita Cloud team. We are excited to launch our next topic, lot sizing, in SAP IBP Explainer video series. This video provides an overview, what you can expect from this lot sizes topic. You can expect us to walk you through simple, but comprehensive examples to highlight the solution mechanics and benefits of each lot sizing procedure. We will show you how different supply planning algorithms such as Infinite Supply Heuristic or Supply Optimizer, react differently to lot sizing procedures and parameters. Here you can see the network for a raw material, which gets multiple types of demands. We will explain the relevant master data parameters, needed for demand propagation across the network, as well as lot sizing relevant parameters. We will showcase demand propagation from customer, to distribution center, to plant, as well as how lot-for-lot lot procedure works with infinite supply heuristic. We will cover how Supply Optimizer ignores lot-for-lot lot procedure, and generates optimal lot sizes to minimize total cost. We will cover detailed explanations of advanced lot sizing procedures such as static periods of supply with average demand. You can expect comparisons and pros and cons of multiple planning strategies, for example, safety stock versus periods of supply. We will explain results for dynamic periods of supply with safety stock procedure, and highlight all the calculation nuances, such as separate coverage spans for lot sizing versus safety stock demands. We will cover lot size parameters, what they mean, and also the use cases they are meant to cover. We will show you how lot size parameters further change production or transportation receipts planned by lot sizing procedures. We will show you how different supply planning algorithms treat lot size parameters differently. For example, Infinite Supply Heuristic ignores the maximum lot size parameter, but Supply Optimizer considers it. You can expect charts to understand the big picture at a glance, for example, which supply planning algorithms respect which lot size parameter, in a given source of supply. In conclusion, SAP IBP supports multiple lot sizing procedures, and lot sizing parameters to cover diverse use cases across industries. You need to know how to populate specific master data attributes and key figures, for lot sizing procedures to work correctly. Lot sizing is a relatively complex topic to understand, and we hope this explainer video series will help supply planners and IBP practitioners to explain lot sizing results. We hope you will take advantage of the rich range of lot sizing procedures to model the right procedure part by part, to best balance the inventory and customer service goals. You can see all the detailed videos in this lot size series at Gita Cloud website or Gita Cloud YouTube channel. Each video is 5 to 8 minutes in duration. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay on top of similar content. SAP IBP has a wide range of demand or supply planning features that your planners may be interested in. Gita Cloud can help you understand how IBP can model your specific planning problems and how that adds value to your planners. You can reach us with a quick email to connect at gitacloud.com. Hope you enjoyed this video, please like and share if you did. Have a great week.